many wonders to behold. And the beauty about working with fine urban construction and interiors is that I get to travel and see some of these magnificent features. And for instance, today we are at the Rift Valley. It is right on the way to a site that we have been working so hard on, a beautiful farmhouse that we are completing in Maimahu. I was actually on my way to go and do the final reveal, but we decided that we just had to stop and take in the beauty of the Rift Valley. So what I wanna do is just take a moment and appreciate the kind of natural features that we have in Kenya. So as much as we have to continue down the road and just wind in and out, in and out to get to the site, you could actually spot the general area where the site we're working on is located. So I want to give you guys a challenge. Which one of you can point out in this wide open expanse? What is the general area that you think our site is on? So just leave it down in the comments and we'll see who has the best guess. Welcome back to my Mahu. here to do the final reveal of this luxurious mansion that we've taken so much time and love and care to complete but obviously as you can see right from the outset there's a big elephant in the room this does not look like our usual type of final reveal we'll address that later in the video but what you need to know for today's video we'll be focusing on all the materials the quality of the things that we put here the colors and most of all the structure that we built within this compound from scratch so that's going to be the main point of this video but as always we have to start with the entrance fine urban likes to make an impression right from the get and a great example of that is this massive gates right at the entrance this is the first line of defense when you're coming into this property so of course we had to make sure not only does it look good but this is quite heavy i'm telling you guys it is made of the highest quality material and I can attest to that. And that's ideally what you want in terms of security, but also adding in that beauty. You can see on either side of this gate, we've also added in some walls, but as we continue on, you will see that we have an entire perimeter wall on the main property. But in talking about how we want our entrances to make a big impression, where I'm walking right now will actually be covered in Cabro, the reason that we haven't done this just yet is because we are very keen to work with the client's timeline. As much as Fine Urban is able to deliver high quality finishes and the 
tip-top luxurious work, we also have to work hand-in-hand -hand with our client space. So unfortunately, that's why we don't have Cabro here yet. But we will have Cabro. We'll have a lot of greenery in this area. It is quite dry, so we're trying to combat that and make it feel a bit more green and less dusty. You know how plants are really good in catching all that dust. So on either side of me, I will have plants ideally when we get to come here for the next phase we'll have cabro leading all this way combating all that dust and then as you keep walking we're now heading into the second main gate on this property yet another big strong heavy gate to provide extra security and this one is surrounded by one of those things that I think a lot of you now instantly recognize is the types of perimeter walls that fine urban construction and interiors likes to do. We like making detailed work and making sure things are also very, very strong. So if you walk throughout this entire property, you can see over the top, we have that wire and then the walls are really thick and very, very strong. So let's go into the property and actually take a look at what's going on in there. The weight of those gates really do just Scream security. I feel like when you get to be on site and you're actually getting to interact with these bits and pieces is when you really get to appreciate the quality because when I'm pushing that gate, I can really feel like this compound is 100% secure. So the idea is we would have the cabro coming all the way in and voila, as I'm walking in, what a transformation. This is so incredible i want you guys to see the befores go and watch that previous video we'll have some shots here and there but we'll leave the link down below for the previous video so you guys can really appreciate the transformation but this compound looks completely different i immediately immediately my eye is is drawn to the garage area from what i can remember there was a toilet there but before i go too far let's just start let's just start with the actual entrance so right over here to my left i'm seeing a couple of stairs i can see allocation for drainage because as i mentioned i've mentioned this before we do plan on having a lot of greenery in this compound so of course you have to think about when water is accumulating where does it all go so we have included some allocation for drainage right over on this side so from the red soil you can see how those trees are thriving and we've intentionally kept that but we wanted to add more greenery that's another aspect that of course if we're planning on putting cabro here we can't go ahead and do all that greenery it'll just kind of combat each other one of the things that fine urban construction and interiors is really, really good at doing is planning out all, all the different stages of the renovations that we do. So we know for a fact that it would be absolutely useless for us to come in and put in that greenery if we haven't done the cabro yet. That's just how things need to be done. So because we're working with a client space, we need to wait until they're ready to put down the cabro and then <laughs> we will come in and do the uh, landscaping. So another thing to note is this structure. I went on and on about all the excellent ideas. You know, we always have a vision when we're working on these properties. And we had the vision to transform this house, which is the original house of this compound, to look somewhat similar to the new house that we're doing. So you can see there's some bits and pieces that we've already done, but Again, that's one of those things that's on hold for now, but in that next stage, if we're able to come back and finish it, we will update you. So now going on to that garage I was talking about. This, I feel this compound is quite big, guys. It is really massive. The client does like driving big cars, so having a compound like this is perfect. And as I'm heading over, let me tell you what was here before. We had, a outdoor latrine in this section here. If I remember correctly, a lot of structures in this compound were made of wooden planks and some iron sheets and it just seemed like a DIY project. So we were so glad when we could get our hands on this compound and make sure that we make it to its full potential. So here you can see we took that all away but as I always say, when we take something away, we have to replace it because the owner had it there for a reason. So what we've done is moved the latrine over there. You can now see it's a better structure, but for this, this is purely a garage. It could nicely feed, have three V8s in here. It's such a nice space. And if you're having guests, you can see how the compound is so big, it's so wide. Therefore, you can park even more cars in this compound. So let's keep going. So now we're heading to the side 
of the new house. Right over on this side, from where I'm standing, we will have the cab row continue because the intention is to have a laundry area somewhere here. And then we have yet another structure here. This is ultra functional and felt really, really necessary. My mahu is quite dry, so water is such an important thing to constantly have, so we wanted to make sure that we're doing that for this client. So we've built a structure here, and as always, we wanna make the most of anything that we add to anyone's compound. So we do have two storage areas at the bottom, and then at the top, you can see, we made sure that the structure is wide enough to accommodate two of these absolutely massive tanks. I'm sure I've said just how big they are, go and watch the video guys. Go back and watch the before video so you get like a really in-depth idea of what this property was before. And here we have something that's just ultra functional and will get tons and tons of use. So as we continue, we're getting to that red soil again. And I think these are the things that will naturally, as we go through, you're gonna pick up on and be like, oh, is that, is that area gonna be green? Yes, this area is going to be completely green. We want to make sure that we're constantly integrating that, those bits of nature as we go through with this being a dry area, it will be so beautiful to have green patches here and there, just so it doesn't feel quite as dry as it actually is. And as we keep on moving, I, um, I might be speaking too soon, I might, but of all the structures that we've added to this property, for me, this is it. This is where I feel I would get the most use. It stands out so much, immediately my eye is attracted to the type of tile that has been used. The colors are so ideal for this environment. The textures are perfect. It feels so warm. I feel like a lot of people do think classic and luxury and white. It's such a wonderful outdoor space. It would be easy to go for white, but if you really think about it, it does not make sense for this environment. The nice different browns and the warm tones of the walls are ideal for this area. Look, none of us like dirty walls. I've lived in white houses before and you see how quickly some of these things can get dirty. So knowing this environment, we went with a color that will be long wearing and durable, especially for this type of environment. I absolutely love it. And the reason I feel like I would get the most out of this is not only because I can truly feel the quality of what has been done here by fine urban construction interiors, but because I do enjoy a good skylight. I feel like a skylight just elevates any space that you're in. And here we definitely do have a skylight. And of course we didn't want to have direct sunlight. So we have put a barrier there that still allows that sun, sun to pour in. But in looking up, I talk about gypsum a lot, but Oh, every time Fine Urban just knocks it out of the park when it comes to selecting material for all the different projects that we do. We are in a farmhouse, so it absolutely 100% makes sense to have that wooden feel up there. It's so stunning, and then how it's been done, it's not huge planks, where, which would, you know, can sometimes feel a bit lazy. We've gone for these really small little piece, pieces, really arranged together perfectly, and I like the fact that the wood has that exposed feel. It's not too polished, it's not too perfect. And that's exactly the feel you need for a farmhouse. And as I'm going on to the next section here, right in this area is my happy place because it's another place that we were like, we need to find more interesting and creative and tucked away ways of storing water throughout this property. And underneath, we have yet another water tank that is nice and tucked away and away from view. So in talking about tucked away tanks and all that, I did talk about that tank as well. These are some of the things that we're still working with the client to just see what their timeline is looking like so that we can come back and do what we do best. But in going on on this property, we have yet another structure. An outdoor kitchen was uh, one of those things that the client really wanted. So we just made sure that we touched it up and refined it just a little bit. And as we keep on going, man, I feel like I'm gonna say the word structure so many times because honestly, when we first came here, I am not lying. I'm telling you there were wooden structures. <laughs> there is so many bits and bobs that needed to be here. They actually really did need it for functionality, but 
And you know, when you call Fine Urban, we have to come in and elevate everything you're doing and make the most of each and every space that you need without, within your property or your compound. So here we have yet another structure. <laughs> this one is purely for the DSQ. So we have two sides, so they have a, a male or female, because with a property of this size, you are going to have maybe a gardener and maybe some cooks. So you will need to have two different spaces. And one of the things that really intrigues me is the continuation of the quality. I mean, look guys, one of those things that I'm always gonna brag about is the fact that no matter where you are, no matter where we're doing your project, you can always be guaranteed that we will come with the highest quality, no matter what type of space it is. So you can see that well represented in a space like an SQ where I highly believe there's some companies that might put that to the side and just use you know, less quality materials, but Fine Urban, we're always doing the best. So you can see how solid these locks are. That's quite a sturdy lock. We have another quite heavy door, and then we have that privacy with a one-way glass. Of course, making sure that we're adding that decorative feature on the outside. But now let's take a look at the inside. Welcome into this beautiful, stunning room. I can see those touches that we always put everywhere in terms of color selection, making sure it's fitting for the room, in terms of making sure that the quality of the tile is consistent throughout everything that we do. And with the size of this room, it is not the biggest room, but I can see that because Fine Urban Construction and Interiors built it, there was very intentional measurements made. So this can fit a bed that will comfortably suit an adult male or female comfortably, 100% comfortably, and you might even have space for a side table if, if you please. And you can see when I'm looking up, we have a very simple ceiling with a spotlight in the center. And the thing I really appreciate that we also did was the inclusion of a private bathroom for both rooms so that whoever is using this room never feels the need to leave and go use a bathroom or have a shared bathroom, you have your own privacy. So I really do want to take a look at these bathrooms because that's another place where it's, the work is so stellar. So in here, it's absolutely stellar. We've made sure that the door is not you know, knocking on the sink. And speaking of the sink, we have to pay special attention to the type of fittings that have been put here. I think it's so easy to overlook the companies that actually go out there and put so much love and attention into the work they do. But I, as I was saying earlier, I do feel like there's some places that you might find they would neglect a space like this, but find urban because we pride ourselves on the quality of the work that we do. We're going to make sure that we're putting quality products throughout. So that's represented here in the sink, in the toilet bowl, in the type of shower that we're putting into the space. But most of all, immediately you are struck by the beauty and attention that has also been put into the tile selection of this bathroom. The fact that we have these two-tone tiles here, obviously we have a bit of a hole there, but you guys know we always like finishing spaces like this with a mirror. It is just essential and maybe like a medicine cabinet, that's to be seen, but you can see the, the detail of this tile, the veining of it, it just adds that extra layer of luxury to a space even like this. And of course, we had to finish off the gypsum for the spotlight. So let's take a look at what more is going on with this, this, oh, within this compound because I feel like there is so much more to appreciate in terms of the movement. We have thought so much about the movement of this entire compound. So we have the main house right here. And you can see right on that side, we have an opening and the idea that Fine Urban Construction and Interiors had was to actually make that a doorway. We were to extend the kitchen so that any domestic workers that may be in the house can directly come from the main house and then easily access their private spaces. But also we wanted to make this entire area like relaxation, and we, don't, we didn't really want too much movement to be happening in this space. So what we want to do is 
probably add in something like a waterfall. That area will be transformed into a barbecue area and really just creating those spaces that we know families will really truly appreciate and get the most use out of. So when you're looking at how the vision, the vision that fine urban construction and interiors had for this compound. I want you guys to kind of borrow from the other projects that we've done. You guys know that we are excellent when it comes to outdoor spaces. We like to include a gazebo. You see how we've done that here. We will add in the barbecue area. We will have a waterfall just so it fully feels like a relaxing space. And as I am walking through this, area where I'm standing at the entrances of both of these DSQs. I also am immediately attracted to the floor. The tiles throughout this property, honestly, the fact that our lead designer handpicks these things, I think it just really adds on to the harmony that you find when you're walking throughout and also ensuring that every single thing hits. Like we don't want to have any misses, we only want to have hits and we've also continued the spotlights on the outside. And you can see that these tiles follow all round. There are no shortcuts when it comes to fine urban construction interiors. We want you to be able to lift the carpet and find that it's just as clean as the rest of the house. That's what we're doing as a company. So as we keep on moving, we have another space back here. This is a farmhouse. I'll keep emphasizing that because I know it's so easy to forget when we're looking at the type of work that we've done. But this is a farmhouse, meaning we have to think of how we're also taking care of the animals that do reside within this compound. So from what I've seen, we have a couple of chickens. We have some cows. I think I've seen sheep or goats. I'm not quite sure, but there is quite a number of animals here. So we have to make sure that we have a, an area for the cows, an area for the goats, some for the sheep, some for the cuckoo. So just making sure that we're not disrupting the system. In fact, we want to make it better. One of the things that the client was able to share with us was that they are trying to go into a different side when it comes to their cattle. So they have these, I, I'm not sure what the name of the cow is, but it's these newer type of cows where that, that don't really need a lot of grazing. You can just purely feed them here. So we wanted this environment to really make it easier once they do make that transition to the new cattle. And that's the kind of care that you should expect when you're working with fine urban construction and interiors. This is quite a massive space. And of course, we have to make sure that we're adding in spaces for stacking all that hay that will now exist on this property. So we have multiple different areas that have been purely put in for that purpose. With animals comes feed and you have to make sure that you have somewhere really nice and safe to put all that in. So with that area said, let's keep it pushing. There's yet another opening and this is where you also get to appreciate a lot of the movement that is going on on this compound. This is an entirely different section. Our clients are not only into farming, they are into construction and they are in the trucking business. So in speaking about trucking business, that is a huge facet of their lives. So we needed to make sure that they had an area purely to store their trucks that they could easily drive in. You can see that massive gate that I guarantee you that one is just as heavy as all the doors we've dealt with. So you can easily slide that gate aside, drive in the trucks. You have a massive parking area and of course with trucks, comes a lot of repairs. You need a space to store all the bits and pieces that you use in your trucks. As you can tell, I am not familiar with what you would need for trucks, but Fine Urban obviously talked to the client and really found out what they would need. So we have created spaces here that will hold all the needs that the client has in terms of dealing with their trucks. So are you guys ready for the main event? the structure that we have built from scratch. I mean, yeah, there's bits and pieces, but the main structure that we came here to build, we can now go on and take a look at that magnificent house. I just have to take a moment and really appreciate it. 
obviously. First things first, I have to acknowledge it is such a simple setup. If you've been watching our channel long enough, I know you have seen us do some extraordinary stuff, but this is still extraordinary in its own right. I will harp on quality nonstop. I will start from the door. We've seen these doors at the DSQ, very heavy, great quality, locks on there, one-way glass, absolutely perfect. And I love the fact that these are double doors so you could fully open this up and have a couple of chairs there if you want out on the veranda and just enjoy nature. But as soon as you walk in, that quality does continue. I am looking at the floor. As always, the tiles are premium. We've gone for something that feels more rustic, which is absolutely fitting for this compound. You can see our touches, our classic touches. We do love a great paneling on the TV wall here. So you can see this rich brown color with the white insides. We have the shelving, but we've left this mostly empty because this particular client, that's what they wanted. They said, I have a lot of my own things. I'd prefer if you guys would leave the decorating to us. And that's another option. If you're working with fine urban construction and interiors, we are very flexible. We're working with you to make your space feel like home. So we've left it empty. We've just added in here. We have a three seater as always customized by fine urban construction and interiors. And I'm thinking that this is another thing that you guys are going to be able to pick up on as we keep going and showcasing more houses, because there's just a very unique way that fine urban is trying to present itself. We want our work to really stand out. So we have the three seater here. We have the four seater here, big family, you need big seats so everyone can really sit here and watch TV, which again is another thing that the client will be bringing in themselves. And then here we have a dining set right by this massive, massive window. Here we have how many seats? Four, five, six, a six seater, nice and comfortable. But I really do think with what we've done outside. A lot of people are gonna be like, I'll, I'll do the outdoor dining. I'll do the outdoor dining. But if you do have a couple of people who do wanna do indoor dining, we have more than enough space here. And speaking of space, these are the perks of having us construct your house from the ground. All those measurements are going to be absolutely perfect. You've seen us go to places and be like, oh, this house has so much potential, but oh, the cost of the client is going to be huge because look, we have to take up down this wall, we have to extend this space, we have to do all these things. But if we're the ones starting from the ground up, from the plans, from the drawings, we'll know exactly all the sizes that will be fitting for every single person that you want to be able to enjoy the space. So the living room is huge. We have a spacious dining area here and we still have more space, but this is intentional. Right here, I am looking down a very wide and well lit hallway. The light from that massive window is leading all the way down to this door. So when I was speaking about how you could have seats on the outside to out enjoy the environment, we've also allocated another space here because we do have quite the veranda on that side. So you're able to open here, put a couple of seats out there and really take in nature. Did I almost just forget to talk about one of my favorite things? to go on and on and on about gypsum. Oh my gosh, here we've done it so simple. It's ideal, it's perfect. Look, we like luxury, you guys know that. We like creating luxury, but luxury means very different things in different environments and you have to truly pay attention to make sure that you're not putting things that don't fit. So here the gypsum has been kept very simple, even the chandelier, the centerpiece, we've just gone for a ceiling light, still enough light and we have the recess lights all around. We also have cove lighting, which is a touch that just elevates the ambiance of a space and you can see that well represented. And obviously as I'm looking around right now, this being the final reveal there's a lot of things lacking the walls look kind of bare where are the curtains those are other things that the client has asked us to just leave it to them they'll come in with their own curtains they have their own family pictures that they want to put on the wall they have their own decorative pieces that they want to use to finish off the tv wall so guys this is a final reveal but we have to work with the client so speaking of lights and gypsum i am now looking at the lights that are down this hallway leading down this way. I did mention this house has 
four bedrooms and the first room here is the master bedroom so obviously i'm not gonna go in there first you guys know i like leaving the best for last and i really enjoy master bedrooms so let's start from the end and work our way back this way so bedroom number one we've done what we like to do in terms of introducing new spaces as you're walking through the house and the way we like to do that is not only by the colors that we choose for the wall but the tiles that we have on the floor so you can see that it is still that wooden feel but it's a totally different size and it's a totally different tone to it but still retains that really rustic feel to it so you can see that use for this bedroom and we are welcomed by this beautiful bright glow of the sun pouring in from these massive massive windows that fine urban construction interiors made sure to include this area is so bright so on a day like this when the sun is out and shining it's perfect to open up your windows let the light flow in let the breeze run through the entire room we have another window here so you're never going to lack light in this particular space and when you're looking at the floor again it's space that's going to fit a nice size bed i am so sure that that was one of the things that we consulted the client about so when they do bring in their own beds they find that the room is ready to go we also have cabinetry as always we have the shelves for display we have places to hang your coat jackets we have places you could fold your jeans and put in there if you have your socks you can put them in there you would have your vests you can put them in there here I have your underwear, <laughs> you can put them in there. So every single thing has its own space. Have a neat little area down there, tuck in your shoes and another place here. Let's say, you know, we have more stuff. <laughs> you could fold and hang and do all that beautiful stuff. So we have made sure to allocate enough space in terms of storage. And all these rooms are also en suite. So here we can see the bathroom wonderful wonderful textured tiles i love the fact that these ones have a more cool tone but they feel like natural stone because you can see the textural element and how we have this kind of spatter of different brown on it it really does look really nice and natural and having that texture in there also really helps that feel and fittings are very important we have gone all out with all the fittings on this a property we have the toilet bowl and of course a very high-end quality shower head with a handheld shower as well this bathroom also has a decently uh, big window here so to allow all that ventilation and light to really come into this room so the one thing you need to know about this room it is a twin room so it is like a um, mirror reflection of the room that we're going to go into next so let's just take a brief look at that but it is basically the same layout it just made sense so that we could make sure that both rooms had a private bathroom because what you may not have noticed let's try and peek from here yeah this is where you can really see what we did in terms of including that bathroom we have extended the wall because initially I think it just ended there, but when we talked to the client and we were like, look, it would be such a great idea for everyone to have their bathroom and they were like, you know what, go ahead and do it. We were able to extend a wall and then take it all the way to join to the other room and then close that off so that each room, now that extension serves as the two bathrooms for these two bedrooms, well lit, well arranged, nothing is really in the way of anything else. Perfect. And again, the tiles here you can see are very similar to the ones we've seen in the other room. The ones on the floor do have a bit of a matte feel and finish just to make sure no one slipping and sliding and getting into any accidents, looking at all the fittings premium all throughout. So now let's go to the other bedroom. This is the room that I would choose if the master bedroom was not available. The thing I really enjoy about this room is the entrance we have this little space here that works as a very tiny corridor for the bathroom and the bedroom it has a massive massive bathroom i love this i love a big bathroom and to emphasize that we have gone with a bigger tile 
that has a more glossy finish. It has gray veining throughout it. It's white, it's bright, it's reflective, it's perfect. If you're gonna have a big bathroom, you better accentuate that with the things that you use. And then it works really well alongside the white of the fittings that we have here. And as concerning as white may be for a bathroom or any space really, when we choose things, we make sure we're picking the highest quality because one of the things that cheap things do very quickly and easily is hold on to stains. You don't want anything, like especially a sink, the place that you have to look at every morning as you're brushing your teeth. The last thing you want to see is grime stuck to it and knowing you've used all the products and it's still coming out. So when we go out and select things like this that are super high quality, it's not just because it's white and it's shiny and it's, you know, it looks good. It's because it will serve, it will be very functional for the long run. So this will also be very easy to clean. This is a chrome finish as well. Very, very easy to clean. And that goes for everything throughout that we select. So for the floor here, we have a more grainy gray type of feel for the floor, a much bigger shower area, high quality. I really appreciate the detail. I really, really appreciate the fact that we're not just going for an ordinary shower. I like the fact that we have tucked in most of the piping behind the wall and hidden it behind the beautiful tiles. I love the fact that a lead designer will go out of their way <laughs> to go and select things like this. I do, the, the handle being white and having that really beautiful, really delicate, subtle, it's all about touches like this that I feel like our clients will always discover something new as they continue to enjoy the space that we've been able to create as a company. So now that I'm done gushing over the bathroom, let's take a look at the bedroom. We have the darker brown tile also leading into the bedroom yet another magnificent space. You're greeted by that light as soon as you walk in. It's perfect. Guys, if you're constructing a house, you know, this is a Jenge Wazazi project. This is a project that was done by, uh, not kids, kids is not the right word, the children to parents. And their main point was to make sure that their family is coming together whenever they can. So if you're constructing, this is a great project for you to really go back and look at what we've been able to do in terms of this compound so that you can gain that confidence to reach out and understand that there is a company that's willing to sit down with you and really talk and understand your needs for you and your family and make sure that we are building a structure that's going to really speak to what you need in your life. So, and I'm walking around and talking about how this room, I'm greeted by light. I cannot imagine how anyone would come into this compound and get to experience these rooms and not leave feeling so happy and fulfilled and at home, which is absolutely the point of what we do. Here again, we have the cabinetry. We've done just enough because this house is going to function at somewhere where visitors come. So we don't necessarily need a lot of cabinetry, but we just need enough. And this is just enough because that's another thing that Fine Urban was able to talk to the client about and make sure that we're creating spaces that fit them. If you're looking throughout the bedrooms, actually, gypsum throughout this property is very, very simple and clean and elegant and classic. We don't want things that will age, you know, a year or two down the line, but we also want things that do feel like a farmhouse. We don't want anything too extravagant. We want things that are nice and simple, clean and classic. So let's go to the next room. And before I forget yet another beautiful touch that Fine Urban likes to include, not only do we like putting cove lighting in our gypsum, we also like adding it into these areas like hallways, you know, places that you're gonna walk by. So at night, I can imagine when it's a bit darker and you have the curtain there, I presume the client's gonna put a curtain there, you'll have these lights kind of leading your way into the living room and it's just such a wonderful and beautiful touch to include in this house. And no house is complete without a bathroom where everybody can use. I mean, first things first, look at this space. This is quite the entrance for a bathroom. We have a built-in kind of uh, shelving area here with drawers. I can see so many decorative pieces being arranged here with these flowers. Obviously, that will be up to the client and how they choose to decorate. I could see us doing really beautiful wall hangings. You guys know exactly what I mean. You know what I mean, what Fine Urban does when it comes to 
bathrooms. And then, now let's actually go into the main space here. High quality fittings, just like all the other bathrooms. That beautiful textured tile on the wall. Yet again, uh, so super spacious. We have the toilet right there and so much light pouring in. What more could you ask for? If I was a guest in this house, I definitely would feel very, very welcome and getting to go to a bathroom that I can see so much time was put into. So now, last but not least, my favorite room in all the properties that we do, the master bedroom. Welcome you guys, welcome to the master bedroom. It is, you can feel like it's slightly bigger than all the other rooms, but all the rooms are very, very spacious in their own right. So obviously here, we presume there's gonna be a bigger bed. We've talked to the client, we've done the measurements. So we knew exactly how much space to allocate. allocate. We have the brown tiles on the floor, continuing with that wooden natural feel. And then here we have much more cabinetry. Obviously this is presumably going to accommodate two people. So many drawers to put all that stuff that I was talking about earlier, you know, your socks and your underwear. And then over here, I see this being like a vanity area, but I can see that there are some sockets here. So maybe possibly the inclusion of a TV in this area, but this is also a good spot to get ready, put away your makeup, if, you know, for the woman who's gonna be using this room. You know, neatly tuck away everything that you need. Storage is very, very important and plays such a huge role in how comfortable you are in a space. If you know that all your things have a place, it's such a burden off your mind and that's what we aim to achieve. So here again, those massive windows continue. We have the light pouring in and what we also have pouring in is a noise. A noise that you guys may have picked up on throughout this section. We do have a generator, actually, it's right here. We have a generator right outside. So, this is Kenya. <laughs> and we know in some of these more rural areas, KPLC isn't here yet. So, the client does really depend on solar energy, which is abundant here. It's so sunny all the time. But at the moment, we are still working on getting the perfect solar panels to maximize the use of that sun that's pouring in right now. So that's not in yet, but we need to keep the lights on in order to produce good content. So we are currently using the generator. So I hope you guys will forgive us for that, but let's continue with the, continue with the tour. I'm looking up, I'm looking at the gypsum, yet another simple, clean design. I think when it comes to things like this, it's when you can really see the flaws. Sometimes we assume simple is easy, and that's not always the case. Sometimes the simpler something is, the easier it is for you to point out the flaws, because there's not much going on up there. So when I'm looking up and I'm seeing the simple design, it's so easy for me to breeze past because it's so well done, it's perfectly done. We have that ceiling light again, we have the, the <laughs> we have the recess lighting, and then of course allocation tucked away in the gypsum as always for the curtains that the client will come in with and finish decorating their room. And this room has a bathroom, just like all the other ones. Uh, we've gone back to the white tile, but it's a bit different. It is a bigger tile, but the veining is more sporadic. You know, it feels a bit more abstract, but it's still very, very subtle. We have a lot of white going on. Here we have the his and hers sink. I like how this has changed up. You know, <laughs> the master bedroom does have to feel unique. So when it comes to selection of things, like the sinks that you're using, the taps that you're using, you know, you just add a little bit more pizzazz. That is not to mean that all the other stuff is not of the same quality. Everything is of high quality, but you know, you just want to add in a bit of pizzazz. We have a really big space here. We have your toilet bowl and we have included more storage here. This is a very big bathroom and we did feel like we are quite good at utilizing a space for multiple things. So without that fear of having the water from the shower, because this area will actually have a shower cubic, and you can see how we've 
already marked that out. So we'll have the shower cubic here and we'll make sure it's completely sealed so you're not having any water splashing and splashing on all your cabinetry or anything that you might have in here. And also when it comes to ventilation, I'm thinking steam and things like that. We have made sure that those things are, those are things that are easily moving out of the space. So no one wants moldy clothes or moldy goods. And then who are they gonna call? They're gonna call Fine Urban and say, hey, you guys are doing lackluster work and you've created this problem for me. I've always said, we are a company that is offering solutions and not problems. So if you see us doing something, best believe that we've done our research and made sure that we're doing it to the best of our ability. Actually, we're doing it to the best and highest quality and standard that is out there. have come to the end of this magnificent tour. This is a final reveal. I'll have to keep reminding you guys that, but hopefully if there's another phase, we'll be back to show you. But as it is, it is absolutely spectacular. I'm so sure that the client will feel that we really listened to them and fulfilled each and every of their needs for their compound and their home. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this journey. This is another Jenge Wazazi project. I got to be here a while back with Sheila Moniga, who explained in more detail what we're trying to do as a company. So I will urge you right now, go and watch those videos. We always share the links. We will include bits and pieces throughout this video, but for you to truly appreciate what we've done, go back and watch those videos and then come back here and leave all your lovely comments. We love reading them and hearing what you think. You'd like, share, subscribe to keep up with everything that we're doing as fine urban construction and interiors. And I'm hoping that I'll see you guys in the next video.